14 Facts About Life in Japan You Don't Know Welcome back to our channel Cognitive Thinking, the place where we explore the fascinating and diverse aspects of different cultures around the world. And today we're diving deep into the land of the rising sun with 14 Facts About Life in Japan. Did you know that the oldest operating business in the world is nestled in the land of the rising sun? Meet Congo Gumi, a company with roots dating back to the astonishing year 578. Japan has been captivating travelers since it first opened up to international trade in 1853. Japan is also one of the leading economic and technological centers in the world. Streets of Japan. Now let me hit you with a truly astonishing fact. In Japan, there's a vending machine for almost everything, and I mean everything. With a staggering 5 million vending machines scattered across the country, Japan boasts the highest vending machine density globally. That's one vending machine for every 24 people. Picture this, you're strolling down the streets of Tokyo and BAM, there's a vending machine at every corner. Batteries, ramen, sake, umbrellas, flowers, you name it, and chances are there's a vending machine stocking it. It's like having a convenience store at your fingertips 24-7. Now let's dive into the bizarre and unexpected. Japan is renowned for its weird and wonderful vending machines. Need a hot cup of ramen? There's a vending machine for that. How about a bottle of sake to celebrate the day? Yes, Japan's got you covered. They've even got machines with fresh flowers, just in case you're feeling a bit whimsical. Tokyo Skyline. Tokyo, Japan's vibrant and busy capital, is a metropolis that leaves visitors in awe of its exciting events and cultural heritage. But is Tokyo a city or something more? It's an enigma, a pulsating hub where centuries-old traditions dance with futuristic innovations. It's a place where the concept of a city evolves into a metropolis that defies boundaries and expectations. Did you know that Tokyo is not just a city? It's a vibrant, pulsating metropolis and holds the title of the most populous metropolitan area in the world? With its breathtaking skyline, Tokyo is a captivating blend of tradition and modernity, making it a city that truly never sleeps. The land that brought you sushi, bonsai, and the bright lights of Tokyo is ripe with fascinating tidbits. Aerial view of Japanese mountains. Did you know that over 80% of Japan's land is cloaked in majestic mountains? This hilly terrain isn't just a geographical quirk, it's a defining feature that shapes the country's character. With over 100 active volcanoes contributing to about 10% of all active volcanoes globally, Japan's landscape offers not only excellent skiing, but also endless opportunities for wandering and exploration. Now, for those seeking an adventure of epic proportions, look no further than the iconic Mount Fuji. Whether you're a seasoned trekker or a first-time hiker, Kay's House Hostels provide a warm and friendly haven for those ascending this majestic peak. For a touch of vintage elegance, Fuji Lake Hotel, a stylish lakeside accommodation dating back to the 1930s, offers unparalleled views of the Fuji Five Lakes region. For a true triumph of nature and human resilience, discover the awe-inspiring beauty of San Riku Fuko National Park. This coastal wonderland is a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Japanese people. Majestic cliffs, pristine beaches, and the soothing melody of the ocean create a harmonious symphony of nature and man. The Akihabara District. Akihabara, the electronic wonderland. Japan is at the forefront of technology, and Akihabara is the epitome of that. From cutting-edge gadgets to anime and manga, it's a geek's paradise. Now, let's plug into the beating heart of Japan's technological prowess, Akihabara, the electronic wonderland. Japan stands proudly at the forefront of technology, and Akihabara is the epitome of that prowess. From cutting-edge gadgets to the colorful world of anime and manga, Akihabara is a geek's paradise. It's not just a district, it's a pilgrimage site for tech enthusiasts from around the world. Earthquake Statistics did you know that Japan experiences around 1,500 earthquakes every year? This staggering frequency isn't just a random occurrence, but is intricately linked to the country's geological location. Japan sits atop the meeting point of three tectonic plates, a geological hotspot known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. This fiery embrace of tectonic activity is responsible for the perpetual dance of earthquakes in Japan. The impact of these seismic events extends beyond mere numbers. Earthquakes have woven themselves into the fabric of Japanese life, shaping architecture, emergency preparedness, and cultural responses to these natural phenomena. Yet amidst the quivering grounds, Japan showcases remarkable resilience and preparedness. Strict building codes, earthquake-resistant structures, and a robust early warning system are all part of the country's arsenal in navigating this ever-shifting landscape. Sumo Wrestling 
Now, let's step into the sacred circle of sumo wrestling, a sport that echoes the very soul of Japanese culture. Did you know that sumo wrestling goes far beyond the ring's boundaries? Sumo wrestlers, or rikishi, lead a life steeped in tradition and discipline. They adhere to a strict lifestyle following centuries-old rituals that add layers of cultural significance to every match. In the world of sumo, it's not just about the colossal size and strength of the wrestlers. It's a captivating dance of discipline and tradition. Noodle slurping etiquette. In fact, slurping loudly is considered a sign of thoroughly enjoying your meal. Far from being rude, it's an expression of appreciation, and some even say it enhances the flavor of the noodles. So when in Japan embrace the art of the slurp, for the ultimate noodle adventure, consider joining a ramen tour in Tokyo. Get Your Guide offers a fantastic tour that takes you to the very place where the original sukumen, a style of ramen, was invented. Dive into the world of savory broths and perfectly cooked noodles, and yes, embrace the slurping culture. And there you have it, a delightful revelation about noodle etiquette in Japan. If you found this cultural tidbit intriguing or if you're ready to embark on a noodle slurping adventure, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more culinary explorations, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Japanese House Entrance As you step into a traditional Japanese home, you encounter a unique space called the Genken. This entranceway isn't just a transitional zone, it's a symbolic realm that sets the tone for a courteous and respectful custom. The Genkin features raised floors, providing a subtle but significant signal. The lower area, often made of a different type of flooring, serves as a clear indication of where you should remove your shoes. It's a silent cue for visitors to transition from the outside world to the inner sanctum of the home. The act of removing your shoes is more than a practicality, it's a gesture of respect. Shoes, associated with the dirt and chaos of the outside world, are left at the doorstep. This practice not only maintains cleanliness, but also symbolizes leaving the burdens of the day outside. Shinkansen. Fasten your seatbelts as we shift gears to one of Japan's most iconic symbols of progress. The Shinkansen, or the bullet trains. These high-speed marvels are not just a feat of engineering, they are a way of life for the Japanese. Efficient, punctual, and sleek, the Shinkansen is more than just a mode of transportation. It's a symbol of Japan's unwavering commitment to innovation and excellence. Cherry Blossom Festival Now let's paint our canvas with the delicate hues of cherry blossoms. Japan's Sakura season is not merely a visual spectacle. It's a cultural phenomenon that touches the soul. During Hanami, locals come together to celebrate this annual spectacle by picnicking under the cherry blossoms, a tradition that goes beyond appreciating nature. It's a collective embrace of the fleeting beauty that life offers. Capsule Hotels. Ever wondered how people live in one of the most densely populated countries? Enter Capsule Hotels. These compact sleeping pods are a unique solution to the limited space in urban areas. Now let's shrink our perspective a bit and explore how people cope with the challenges of living in one of the world's most densely populated countries. Enter the ingenious solution, Capsule Hotels. These compact sleeping pods are not just a quirky concept. They are a unique response to the limited space in bustling urban areas. Step inside and you'll find that comfort and innovation can indeed thrive in confined spaces. Harajuku Fashion Harajuku, the fashion capital of Japan. From kawaii to gothic, let's take a stroll down the colorful streets of Harajuku, often hailed as the fashion capital of Japan. Here, fashion is not just about what you wear, it's a vibrant living canvas of self-expression. From the adorable kawaii to the edgy gothic styles, Harajuku's street fashion is a celebration of individuality. It's not just a style, it's a bold and dynamic statement that echoes the diversity and creativity of its people. Cherry Blossom Festival Returning to the enchanting world of cherry blossoms, let's uncover a delightful nugget of Japanese language, Hanami. Did you know there's a specific word for the act of appreciating the transient beauty of cherry blossoms? Hanami goes beyond a mere viewing. It's a celebration, a moment of reflection, and a shared joy. So, whether you're picnicking under the blossoms or simply strolling through a sakura-lined avenue, you're partaking in the beautiful tradition of Hanami. Tsukiji Fish Market Hold your breath as we dive into the hustle and bustle of Tsukiji Fish Market, the largest wholesale fish market in the world. The moment you step in, your senses are overwhelmed by the vibrant atmosphere, the symphony of voices, and the unmistakable scent of fresh seafood. Tsukiji is not just a market. It's a sensory journey through the heart of Japanese culinary culture. And don't miss the famous tuna auctions, where the bidding wars add an extra layer of excitement to this seafood spectacle. 
tea ceremony. Now let's take a moment to savor the tranquility of a Japanese tea ceremony known as Sado, or the way of tea. Beyond a simple beverage, it's a profound cultural practice that emphasizes harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. Every gesture, from the precise preparation to the shared moments of silence, reflects the essence of Japanese culture. It's not just about drinking tea. It's a meditative journey that invites participants to connect with themselves, each other, and the timeless rituals that define this beautiful tradition. Mount Fuji. Our grand finale brings us to the majestic Mount Fuji, the towering symbol of Japan's beauty and strength. Did you know that Mount Fuji is not just a breathtaking sight? It's an active stratovolcano and holds the title of being the highest peak in Japan. This iconic landmark, often shrouded in mystery and spirituality, stands as a testament to the resilience and grace of the Japanese people. Much like Mount Fuji, they embody a perfect blend of beauty and strength, creating a landscape that captivates the soul. And there you have it, 14 fascinating facts about life in Japan. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more cultural explorations, and leave a comment below sharing your favorite Japanese experience. Until next time, sayonara!